Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Brakatai, Kwame Asherala, my name is Equatis Atatada. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Stick to the Script True Nation. So today, uh, today's topic that I'm going into today is can we have dreadlocks? Can we have dreads? So let's get right into it. Now, um, real quick, um, the thing about it is um, we will come across the term locks right throughout the scriptures. And a lot of people don't realize that it has different meanings. You see that when we read throughout the scripture. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to cover everything. And um, let's give out the, uh, the proper uh, edification. So let's start off with um, Numbers chapter 6. We're going to do uh, Numbers chapter 6, verse 1, 2, and 5. Uh, Numbers chapter 6, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speaking to the children of Israel, and saying to them, When either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of a Nazarite, to separate themselves unto the Lord. Now, this is going in, in regards to the Nazarite vow. So when a person decides to become a Nazarite, there are stipulations um, that come along with that, right? Uh, one of the stipulations, we're going to read um, verse 5. All the days of the vow of his separation, there shall come no razor upon his head until the days be fulfilled in the which he separated himself unto the Lord. He shall be holy and shall let the locks of his hair, of the hair of his head grow. Now, is this is talking about dreadlocks? So let's get proper understanding. When we look at the, the concordance, the strongs, of that word lock we get h6545 which comes from h6544 meaning the hair as disheveled i mean uh uh the disheveled now you know uh disheveled meaning untidy or disorder you see what i'm saying so a lot of people don't realize is that locks meaning a string of hair you see what i'm saying so um dread is a form of twisting Right. And dreadlocks are rope like strands of hair. You see what I'm saying? So that's the thing. We got different types of hairstyles. We got braids. We got dreadlocks that the scriptures um, speaks about. Right. So in this instance right here, it's talking about locks, meaning a string of hair. He shall let it grow. Right. So um, let's get another scripture. Let's get Judges chapter um, 16, verse 13. Judges chapter 16, verse 13. And Delilah said unto Samson, Hitherto thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Now, when you read into this uh, chapter, you will see that the um, the Philistines, they was trying to figure out where was um, uh, the, the strength that Samson had, right? Because Samson, he was a strong, mighty brother, right? So you had the Philistines, they enticed this woman uh, named Delilah, and they ended up bribing her, you know? Um, they uh, wanted to give her silver, right, and like um, um, money to uh, to for her to entice Samson to find out where exactly does his um, strength lie, right? So, um, uh, verse three, uh, verse thirteen. And Delilah said it to Samson, "Hitherto thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound." And he said it to her, "If thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the web." Now. It says seven locks uh, that Samson is talking about. Now, did he have seven dreadlocks? So what is this referring to? So now when we get the understanding of the word locks in this context, right, we get um, the, the Strong's H4253, which comes from H2498, meaning a ringlet of hair gliding over each other. Now, that's very synonymous to braids because... In order for you to get braids, you need three strands of hair to formulate to get um, braids out of it. You see, you can't get um, you can't get braids with uh, two strands of hair. When you're dealing with t uh, two strands of hair, you get um, uh, twisties or dreads. You see what I'm saying? You, when you twist them up with each other, but when you're dealing with three strands, 
of hair or more, that's how you get braids. So braids is a hairstyle formed by interlacing three or more strands of hair. So in this instance, Brother Samson, he had braids. He didn't have dreadlocks. You see that? So um, let's go to the next scripture. Let's get, um, let's get the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter eight, verse three. And he put forth the form of an hand and took me by a lock of my head. Now, when you read it to this chapter, this is uh, going in, in regards to um, Ezekiel, prophet Ezekiel. He was in his house and um, God showed him a vision of Jerusalem, right? Because the children of Israel in this time, they was going into idolatry and, in, and wickedness. You see that? So the Most High, he was showing what was going on in the temple in Jerusalem by the form of vision through uh, to uh, to Ezekiel, right? So it says, and he put forth the form of an hand and took me by a lock of my head and the spirit lift me up between the earth and the heaven and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner gate that looketh toward the north, where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoked it to jealousy. Now, so did uh, Ezekiel have dreadlocks? So let's see what the word lock meaning in this context right here in this scripture. So uh, for for this for lock we get the um, the Strong's H sixty seven thirty four, which come from H sixty seven thirty one, meaning a floral or wing like wing like meaning combed out hair right projection that is a forelock of hair, you see. Forelock meaning hair covering your head, your foreheads like bangs, right? So that's the type of uh, um, uh, uh, like when you when you see um, like back in the day, I would say like maybe like uh, 2008 or something like that, or you know a few years ago, it was a style that was very popular that a lot of women used to rock, which is called bangs. You see what I'm saying? So the bangs that they was wearing with their hair is like their hair covering their foreheads and all of that. So that's what what, what for like meaning like for a lock a uh, for a like is you know um uh I mean a uh, for lock meaning uh strands of hair covering your forehead you see that so did Ezekiel have locks so it says and he put forth the form of in hand and took me by a lock of my head so he took a a a, a string of hair from What's the name? Um, so he grabbed him by the uh, uh, the strings of his hair. That's that's pretty much what it uh, what it is right there. So you know, none of these brothers right here they didn't really have dreadlocks. You see what I'm saying? So lock again, lock meaning a string of hair. You see what I'm saying? And dread is a, is a form, uh, uh, is a form uh, what you do to in order to get a style from a hair. You see that? So um. Let's get um, Ezekiel 44 and uh, verse 20. We'll stay in the same book. I want to bring this out because you have some people will say, oh, you know, the scripture said we're not even supposed to be um, growing our hair long. You see what I'm saying? We're supposed to keep our hair short. So um, Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 20, there shall, neither shall they shave their heads nor suffer their locks to grow long they shall only pull their heads. So pull meaning to comb out. Now it's saying, nor suffer their locks to grow long. You see what I'm saying? So this is talking about a, a string of hair. You see what I'm saying? Like, um, and first of all, this is not a standard commandment to the children of Israel. This is going in regards to the priests. When you read um, verse 15, it's referring to the Levites. Verse 15, but the priests, the Levites, the sons of Zadok that kept the charge of my sanctuary when the children of Israel went astray from me, they shall come near to me to minister unto me and they shall stand before me to offer unto me the fat and the blood, said the Lord God. So this, in this context, this is referring to the Levitical priesthood. You see what I'm saying? So, um, so the question is, um, can we have dreadlocks? Is dreadlocks considered an abomination? Is it unlawful? Is it going to get scripture? Let's see. So 
Um, we're going to get Romans chapter 4, verse 15. Romans chapter 4, verse 15, because the law worketh wrath, for where no law is, there is no transgression. Now, when we read throughout the scriptures, we don't see, we don't come across any scripture that speak against a person having dreadlocks. So the end result, can we have dreadlocks? Yes, you are more than welcome to have dreadlocks as a style of your hair. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no different than braids, curls, waves. You know, um, none of those things is against scripture. So with all that being said, my name is Equantizad Tazadak. Please like this video, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment your thoughts below. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Shalom.